Bioengineers can redesign microbes so that they produce biofuels or drugs more efficiently. But it's a trial and error process, and it can take a long time to make a new bacteria that does the right thing. Researchers at the University of California in San Francisco are developing design software that should simplify the biological design process. Computer-aided design could speed up the development of useful microbes. What we're trying to do is uh, create a programming language for cells so that you could write a program for a cell in the same way that you would for a computer or for a robot. Uh, that program is encoded on a piece of DNA and when you put that DNA into a cell it's able to run that program. We've largely been restricted in rewriting what biology already is able to do. So you take a sequence right out of nature and then you rebuild it using DNA synthesis. What we'd like to be able to do is to go in and completely redesign those functions or to build arbitrarily whatever we'd like to have the cells do. And so in that endeavor, uh, a large part is going in and, and rebuilding the fundamental circuits and the fundamental pathways that will uh, allow us to redirect what the cells are doing in many different ways. Voigt has used his circuit design methods to make light-sensitive E. coli that can record a shadow image like this one of Albert Einstein. He's also made bacteria that can perform simple image processing. The bacteria on this plate use logic circuits to detect the edge of a circle image that was projected on them. So right now when you write a computer program, uh, what you do is you write in a language that looks very much like English in a way. And if you're used to programming like that, uh, it's very simple, it's a very modular way to, to put your ideas down. Uh, when we do genetic programming, it's the opposite of that. You have to look at each DNA base pair. Um, it's very much looking at, at the individual parts and, and putting them together. Uh, we want to move away from that, where you could take a program that you want a cell to run and describe it in a higher level language, and then automatically on the computer that high level language is turned into a DNA sequence which can be sent off for synthesis. And this would change the scale and the complexity of the programs that people are able to put together and allow us uh, better control over more difficult biological processes. Voigt is now developing a set of software modules for automating biological design that will be commercialized by Life Technologies, a biotech company located in Carlsbad, California.